Hi, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist, and we're back in my home office. My home office has gone through quite a transformation from painting to new light fixtures and custom curtains. Now I want to create just a little seating area. So in today's video, I'm going to show you kind of my plans for my office, and then I'm going to take you on a furniture shop with me. So let's get started. All right, so the next area I need to focus on in this space is this corner right here. This is just an empty corner. There is nothing going on over here. And what I'm thinking to do is to make this corner just a little seating area. So when my husband is sitting at the desk working and I need to come talk to him, there's nowhere for me to sit for us to converse. And so I usually wind up sitting in the dining room or something and talking to him from across the way. So I'm thinking if I can just add a chair, maybe a little table if I can squeeze one in on this wall, that's gonna be helpful. But whatever I do, this wall is less than 50 inches wide, so I don't have that much width to work with. And then I also have this air conditioning vent down here that I don't want to block with furniture. And of course, I don't want anything that's too high because I have a light switch that's going to be above your head. So I've got to figure out how to take this plain corner and make it kind of fashionable and to fit the rest of the office so that the whole space is more functional. So now that I've given my space plan some thought, I'm going to go ahead and hit the stores to do my shop with me. Now I'm going to start off in a high-end furniture store just because I think that's the best place to start, number one, because um, I'm hoping to get lucky in the clearance section and find a really amazing piece at an incredible price. But also, I think it's great to start off in the high-end furniture stores just so you can kind of see what's trending. Now, in this particular case, I know about what size and shape I need for my space, but I really don't know um, what style of chair I'm looking for. I'm just seeing what's out there. And if I find something that really speaks to me and will fit my space, I'm just gonna go for it. So I think this armchair is really nice. It's a great size for my space. I don't think the finish is gonna work well in my space, but it is really a beautiful chair. And I'm definitely wanting to see how much a chair like this goes for. Okay, this one's on clearance for about $1,100. That's a really nice chair. If the finish of this chair went with my flooring um, and the rest of my furniture, I would definitely snap up a piece like that because it is just exquisite. Now I see another piece over here that looks really fun. I know everybody is going crazy right now for the blue clay furniture. And I'm not a huge blue clay fan, um, partially because I don't like the way the edges are finished. This particular chair, I love the trim on it and I think it really makes the blue clay fabric look a little bit more luxurious and a little bit more formal. So I think this is a really creative and unique piece and I'm actually really liking that. It makes me rethink blue clay. Now this particular chair is really interesting. I'm not quite sure about the flared back, um, but the fabric is beautiful and it's definitely a unique silhouette. And I believe this is a caracol piece. I do like the back of the chair though. The fabric on the back is really beautiful. I like that upholstery.
So my husband and I were strolling through the furniture store when this unique piece caught our eye. And um, I have to say, I love the structure of the chair. Um, the upholstery is where it just goes all the way left for me. Uh, having a faux fur chair like this has got to be really difficult to keep clean, especially in a white shade. Um, nevertheless, this chair is super comfortable and I'm sure it's going to be a great piece for someone, just not for me. And I spotted another boucle chair. This chair is super comfortable and this one was pretty affordable. However, I don't like the fact that it's fully upholstered and there's no kind of trim breaking up the upholstery. I definitely think the one I saw earlier is a much better piece. That's just my opinion. All right, so that is all I found in my local furniture store. I am going to keep shopping around and I can't wait to show you guys what I ultimately pick up. So I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.